All eyes on the road to the White House. Democrats nominating Joe Biden for president during night two of the Democratic National Convention. And former President Barack Obama will cap off night three, which will include Senator Kamala Harris. Tracy Potts has more from Wilmington, Delaware. She, but President Obama speaks tonight, and we will see Senator Kamala Harris accept her nomination. Joe Biden was nominated last night. There have been big names, the party faithful, new faces like Stacey Abrams and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez speaking about voter suppression and racial injustice. Plus, we're starting to get some numbers of how many people are watching this virtual convention. There were 19 million the first night. That's down a quarter from four years ago, but Democrats say because it's virtual, a lot more people are streaming online. All right, Tracy, let's turn to Francesca Amaker now with the latest on the DNC, continuing our team coverage here. Francesca, Georgia was well represented last night with speeches from former President Jimmy Carter, and you mentioned, you heard Tracy mention Stacey Abrams. Absolutely, Sheba, not only from former President uh, Jimmy Carter, but also his wife, Rosalind Carter, as well. And you could just see a maraud of different generations from Democrats represented, uh, well represented at this convention. In fact, let's take you into the convention. Each of them voiced over a photo montage of issues of concern to them, uh, with Mrs. Carter emphasizing the challenges facing caregivers right now. And the former president discussed his relationship with Joe Biden, dating to when he ran for president back in 1976. For decades, he has been my loyal and dedicated friend. Joe has the experience, character, and decency to bring us together and restore America's greatness. And last night's Democratic convention also featured a mashup of 17 young officials who took on the keynote role. They appeared from all over the country in a virtual gathering, and among them was former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams, who was featured in Making the Case for Joe Biden. Our choice is clear. A steady, experienced public servant who can lead us out of this crisis just like he's done before or a man who only knows how to deny and distract. And congressional candidate Nakima Williams, who has been tapped to replace John Lewis, honored the civil rights icon during the roll call to nominate Joe Biden as the Democratic Party candidate for president. And of course, this is where Atlanta speaks. So what are you all saying about this? Arlia says, yes, can't wait to see Stacey Abrams and the Carters representing the state of Georgia loving this DNC convention. She was tweeting in real time. But Terry says, I have absolutely no respect for this woman. And finally, John says, why are all of those that are speaking are that are those that lost their elections? I'm sure there's a reason for that. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of mixed reaction in the comments, um, but we want you to also chime in on this. Use the hashtag Morning Rush ATL and let us know if you're going to be watching the third night of the DNC. All right, Fran, thank you.